Welcome to Liberal Arts Mathematics. My name is Kimberly Harrell Cole and I will be your instructor for this Liberal Arts Mathematics course. Below you'll find my contact information. No need to rush and write it down. It's also found on your announcement page for the course. In this brief presentation, I will hopefully address some of the issues regarding what liberal arts mathematics is, how to submit work, get feedback, and do resubmissions on our FLVS liberal arts mathematics course website, and how to get help while you're in the course. Some of the more important tabs that we will be addressing in our class are lessons, assessments, gradebook, email, tech support, and announcement pages. The lessons area is your textbook for your course. It is in the lessons area that you'll find the modules or chapters that you'll be studying. Remember modules 1 through 6 cover the first semester of the course and modules 7 through 12 cover the second semester of the course. You always want to begin in the lessons area because that is where you'll find the concepts that will be covered for each individual lesson. The assessment tab houses all of the assignments to be completed for the entire year of the course. Remember modules 1 through 6 cover the first semester of the course and modules 7 through 12 cover the second semester of the course. As you complete assignments, those assignments will be removed from your assessment list. As a rule of thumb, remember to start from the top of your semester and work your way down your assessment list. There are four main types of assignments in this course. You have your homework assignments, which can be completed multiple times and submitted multiple times. Um, these ones usually come in the format of a worksheet or an um, assignment that you have to type up and attach to your assignment sheet or copy and paste into your student common area of your course. Um, also, we have our tests and quizzes, which are more of a one-shot deal. You'll get one chance at taking each one of these, so you do want to make sure that you're fully prepared for those before you take them. The tests are worth a lot of points, so please, please, please make sure you're reviewed before you've taken those, or before you take those. Um, the oral components are like short oral quizzes that occur right before each module test. These are given to make sure you fully understand the material, and also to clarify anything that might be misunderstood before taking that test, because again, the tests are worth a lot of points, so you want to make sure you're fully prepared for those. The pretests and the reviews are not worth much. They can only be taken once, but they're really not worth much point-wise. But the hidden value in the pretest is that if you do really well in the pretest and really well in the oral component, you can be allowed to skip certain lessons in the course. So you do want to make sure you try your best on those, especially if you're trying to make it through the course at a fast rate. Um, the reviews are, again, those are just to give me a gauge of how well you understand that material going into the course and also leaving out of that particular module. So please make sure you are familiar with those different types of assignments. And if you have any help or have any questions about them, call me for help. Under your gradebook tab, you're going to find your most up-to-date grades. It also gives us an overview of what assignments were submitted, when they were submitted, and the grade earned on those particular assignments, and how much each one of those assignments are weighted grade-wise in the calculation of your final grade. To find out what your final grade is, or your overall grade so far, you would have to scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the screen. It'll say segment one, current average for your first semester average, and segment two, current average for your second semester average. Maintaining contact between the student, the parent, and the teacher is mandatory with our Florida Virtual School classes. We don't see you every day, so it's mandatory that we do maintain that contact via the phone, email, text, IM, Skype, whatever the case may be, but we have to have that contact, not only just for our monthly phone calls, which are done with our parents to make sure that they are aware of how things are progressing in the class, but also for our oral components and any help sessions you might need. So please make sure you keep track of my number and contact information so that we can maintain that contact which is required for our Florida Virtual School class. 
There are three different paces for our course. You have traditional pace, accelerated pace, and summer pace. All of these, um, you can pretty much decide on which one you prefer, which one works best with your timeline you have for the course. The key thing that I'll be looking for is that you're submitting a minimum of four assignments each week. You can definitely do more than that if you choose to, but a minimum of four will help us get through the course in roughly about 16 weeks per semester, 16 to 17 weeks per semester. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about a specific pacing. If you need help setting up your own individualized pace chart, that can also be arranged. Under the Announcement tab, you're going to find my contact information, help and tutoring sites, along with some video recordings for different lessons in the course. And of course, you'll also find some kudos for students that have done exceptionally well and our latest weekly update. So please make sure you pay attention, close attention to the announcement page just so we can make sure you are in the know when it comes to our liberal arts mathematics course. The 28-day grace period is more of a trial run for our liberal arts mathematics course. We understand that online learning and actually in the classroom learning are two totally different things. So we do want to have give you the opportunity to get a test run of the course, make sure it's going to work according to your schedule at home, and also just to give you an idea of what the course is like so you have a chance to trial run before you are committed to the course itself. During those first 28 days of the course, we do ask that you give it a really good run, make sure you're on track pace-wise, make sure you have a passing grade, and make sure you're able to keep up with the lessons in the course. Um, it's during this time that you do want to make sure you get a good dry run of it, and if there's any reason at all you think you may withdraw from the course, you want to withdraw within those first 28 days. If you stay in the course past those 28 days, you will earn a grade for the course. If you complete it, it will be the grade you complete the course with. However, if you withdraw after those 28 days or are removed from the course after those 28 days, it will appear as an F on your transcript. So again, it's very important that you hold near and dear these 28 days, get a good test run of the course, and make sure you use it as wisely as possible to give yourself a good idea of whether or not the course is going to work for you. On bond registering for courses with Florida Virtual School, you signed or agreed to an academic integrity contract, which basically means that while taking courses with us, you are going to ensure that any work you submit to us comes directly from you and not from either outside source, be it a person, place, thing, website, anything of that nature. But you're going to make sure that every assignment you submit to us comes directly from you. As far as learning the concepts, you can learn the concepts from other people if you choose to. But in terms of completing and submitting the assignments, those should be done by you and you alone. Please let me know if you need help with any of your assignments, but please don't do anything to jeopardize your grade or your standing in the course with um, any academic integrity issues. Please also remember to visit our flvs.net main website. You'll find that there's a lot of helpful information there regarding workshops, um, clubs and activities, and other things that we have going on in Florida Virtual School. As far as expectations for all three parties involved in the course, our expectations for our students is that you submit at least four assignments a week, work through your assignments in order, make sure you share those steps on your assignments, adhere to the academic integrity contract, keep in contact with me, that's mandatory for the course, always check your gradebook for the feedback and also resubmit assignments to earn a better grade. Um, make sure that you call to get help when help is needed. Check your email constantly for any updates or any, any latest occurrences that we might need you to be informed of in the course. And always return those phone calls within 24 hours. If I leave a message for you, please make sure I'm able to leave a message. So make sure your voicemail box is cleaned out or that you do have a voicemail box set up so that I am able to leave a message for you. As far as our parents and guardians go, please try and get a parent or guardian account. Participate in our monthly calls. Encourage your kids to make, sh make sure that they are going to um, do well in the course. Stay involved. And also return those phone calls within 24 hours. My expectations of myself are to return your calls within 24 hours. Please always leave a message so I can make sure I know that you've called. And grade your assignments within 48 hours. Monitor student progress. Encourage students and assist them wherever help is needed. So with all of us working together, I'm sure we can make sure that everyone completes the course successfully.
Please thank you for watching and please don't hesitate to give me a call if you have any questions or need any help as you proceed through the course. I hope to speak with you guys soon and I know we'll work great together.